A child spins on a chair with a cushion radius of 0.25 meters. A hand pressed against the outside rim of the cushion applies a constant normal force of 75 newtons. If the coefficient of friction between the hand and the chair is 0.5, and the moment of inertia of the child and the chair about the axis of rotation is 25 kg meters squared, how long does it take for the child to stop spinning provided that its initial angular velocity is 10 radians per second? So, a child is spinning on a chair in the direction of the orange arrow. We're going to set clockwise the direction the child is spinning as the positive direction of rotation. A hand, oops, messed up there, is pressed against the outside rim of the cushion like so. The hand exerts a normal force by pushing into the center of the cushion. The friction between the hand and the cushion will create a torque in the negative direction, resisting the rotation of the chair. First, since we know that the hand exerts a constant normal force, the deceleration of the chair will also be constant. This allows us to use the rotational kinematics equation of the final angular velocity equals the initial angular velocity plus the angular acceleration times time. The final angular velocity is zero since the chair slows to a stop from 10 radians per second. Note that we have two unknowns, angular acceleration and time. Next can use the equation that relates torque to the moment of inertia and angular acceleration, one of the unknowns from the first part. This equation has torque and angular acceleration as unknowns. Next, we can relate torque to the force of friction from the hand by using the equation torque equals the cushion's radius times the frictional force times sine of the angle between the force on the lever arm. Since the cushion is circular, the angle is 90 degrees and sine equals 1. Now we have torque and friction as unknowns. We can find the force of friction by multiplying the normal force by the coefficient of friction. Since friction is a counterclockwise force, the force of friction will be negative 37.5 newtons. Plugging in this force of friction into the green equation yields a torque of negative 9.375 newton meters. Then, plugging this torque into the blue equation gives an angular acceleration of negative 0.375 radians per second. Finally, going back to our initial rotational kinematics, we can plug in the angular acceleration and solve for time. The time it took for the chair to stop is 26.67 seconds.